In the crater, Steve's searching for the giant rat, but he's discovered a tarantula. Look at that! The way he's tilted back there, you can see he's rocked back in order to bring those fangs into position so that he can bring down the entire body weight, plunging those fangs into whatever it is that's annoying him. Come on, man. No, don't go, don't go. I do have to be careful here. I'd, I'd be a lot more uh, ambitious if I knew what it was and if we were in a less remote environment. But to get bitten or stung by something like this out here be really sketchy I have never been anywhere where I've seen the diversity of moths that I'm seeing here if you told me I wouldn't have believed you but it's here there's a different one that's a different hot moth that's a different one coming now just now v-shaped wings very fast flyers really strong moths Fantastic coloration there. Oh, look at that, that, that. There's a hot moth too. Now, I've never seen that one before. What percentage of these will be new? It could easily be a quarter. Could easily be a quarter of them. This is a very interesting moth. It's called an unarctid moth. And when it's annoyed, it produces very horrible smelling fluid from the thorax. There, see that? Look at that. That is amazing. What a defense. And that tastes really foul. Nah. Yeah. Even if I'd had to walk up here my hands and knees, it would have been worth it for this. This one hour of moth mayhem. A haul of unique creatures like this proves Basavis forests are priceless. Honestly. <laughs> Gordon gets a shout from a tracker. Oh, oh my word. Have a look at this. Oh, gosh. This is the world's largest rat. That is the biggest rat I have ever seen. That is a murid rat, a true rat, the same family as the rats you find in cities and sewers. You've got a big smile on your face. <laughs> the reason I'm smiling, Gordon, is that this is absolutely uh, a new species. Okay. This is something that doesn't have a scientific yeah. name. This is one of the largest rats in the world, and here we are um, holding it. <laughs> I just think it is an amazing creature found nowhere else on the entire planet. That is such a huge deal. And this animal is so chilled out. Look at him, he's just grooming. And you can it's, tell it's a rat, but yet it looks like just so different from any rat you've ever yeah. seen, right? It's yeah. just incredible. I had a cat, and the cat was about the same size as this rat. It was, you know, any cat that you buy to catch rats is going to run a mile from something like this. Mount is such a big mountain, it's, it's largely unexplored, it's so isolated, that truly some of the things we are finding are new species, and they're spectacular new species. Big rats, cuscus, fantastic animals. It gave me the heebie-jeebies, the <laughs> thought of a giant rat, and I've been going down holes in sort of hollow trees looking for big things, and it's actually kept me awake at night, and here he is, he's just... Oh, he's like a little puppy. <laughs> New Perfect species rat. of giant woolly rat. No! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's unbelievable! <laughs> it, or you just make got, it up? No, no, we got serious? it, we got it, yeah. God, it was great, it was so great. The biggest rat in the world. Was it in a trap or was no, it? A... No, just running about the forest. Tame as anything. That's incredible. It's time to pack up and collect George from the summit. As I stand here, just about to be whisked away by this helicopter, I realise that my grandchildren 
may not ever be able to see this sort of habitat or the animals and plants that live here. It could all be gone. Now all their findings will be brought together and presented to the outside world. With the help of a remarkable tribe, they found hundreds of spectacular creatures. He is just a parrot in miniature. <gasps> so that is absolutely gorgeous. They've discovered over 40 new species, from exquisite geckos to magical moths and bizarre frogs. And they've made major scientific discoveries, creatures with no fear of people. Oh, he's like a little puppy. <laughs> Mammals that no one knew existed. Wow. It's so incredibly rare that new species of mammal are found around the world these days. This has got to be one of the most incredible moments of my life. All of this on one amazing mountain. The hope is that Mount Basavi, once a forgotten corner, will now become known around the world and protected as a unique rainforest of global importance. And that was the final episode of The Lost Land of the Volcano. The news is next over on BBC One this evening and here on BBC HD there's music from Jules and Friends in the studios of Later. That's in a few minutes. <laughs>